Yes. Yeah, you know what? Um, I, I think that it started from, from uh, this winter talking about Kenley to be open to, you know, going one plus and he's been on board. Talked to him again today, this, this afternoon about it in the weight room. And, uh, you know, and he reiterated whatever it takes to, to help us win a baseball game. And, uh, you know, just kind of where he's at, he's, he's pitched uh, two of the first seven games. So he, he's feeling strong, feeling good. So it just kind of made sense. And, you know, the way Woody threw the baseball and um, had PD up earlier. And so I wanted to, you know, once somebody got on base, I wanted to go to, go to PD. And then uh, at that point, then, you know, another guy gets on base, gets an out, another guy gets on base, and I, I was ready for ha to have Kenley go five outs. Didn't want him to go six outs, but five, uh, I felt more comfortable. Where's the balance of the confidence in Kenley versus the need to absolutely have the bullpen get some confidence themselves? Uh, ab absolutely. And, and I think that, uh, you know, you know Woody, Woody goes deep. And um, at that point in time, I felt good about going to the pen, going, going to Petey. And, um, and I think that with our guys, you know, from Yimmy to uh, Hatch to uh, Petey, you know, those guys are pretty much interchangeable. And then you, then you mix in JP, um, and obviously Blanton can, you know, pitch in a lot of different spots. So I think that for me, you know, I think that there are back end guys, but I think that, you know, to kind of pitch to the lineup where we're at and pitch to their strengths and what match, matches up for them the best, I think that we've talked about a lot. Um, and so I just felt good about extending Kenley because uh, you don't want to say it's a must win or you really need it, you know. But uh, that was a game we really wanted to win. Alex goes five his last time out tonight. He goes five plus. Uh, just can you speak to his strong performance? Yeah, you know what, uh, Woody, Woody's he threw the ball really well, and I think that tonight uh, he and Yaz were really in sync. And um, you know he made one mistake to uh, Ahmed, try to go in with a fastball, leak back over and for a home run. But um, you know there's a point towards the end where he got 11 straight guys. Uh, out and um, you know, aside from being late covering first base, you know, I mean, he, he did everything right and mixing his breaking ball in there, uh, changing speeds and then throwing the fastball in. So uh, he pitched a heck of a game. Just speak to your defense too. You get the foot out, you get the cut stealing, you know, just a couple of nice defensive plays to get Alex out of out of the inning. Yeah, you know what? Uh, the defense the defense has been good. You know, it's been steady and he he was getting ground balls. That's that's uh, what he does. And uh, Yazi put a throw right on the money that uh, was a, ended up being replayed, but you know we won that. Uh, you know we got the decision, and uh, the defense has been sound. And you know see how we out there in left field, uh, unscathed. But uh, no, you know he's a guy that I trust. I trust on the baseball field, regardless of you know where how he plays, where he hits in the order. You know I trust him, and um, but the defense was sound. In all fairness, when you see a ball go to left. Have a guy like Howie, who's a great baseball player, but doesn't have a ton of time in left. What are you thinking when you see a ball go there? You know what? I, I think that in, in a normal situation with a player that I just didn't ha don't have that trust with, then I might hold my breath a little bit. But I think with him, it just wherever he's at on the baseball field, it just looks right. And when he's in the batter's box, it just looks right. So I think that I just, for me personally, I just don't put too much weight and add any uh, anxiety to the whole situation. Yeah, you know, I, I thought I, I thought that uh, I thought he's throwing really well. I thought he wasn't stressed, and at 87 pitches, and we have a 3-1 lead. And I thought that uh, you know he's earned the right to continue to stay out there. And you know, 87 pitches for me, it's somewhere around you know 110ish, something like that. So 87 pitches, I thought that uh, you know, yeah, we could have hit for him right there. But I think at 87 pitches, I want to kind of you know extend him a little bit. At, at, at that point, uh, you know, maybe not, but, uh, you know, he started to be a little bit more economical. And, and at that point in time, DG, he, from that point, he was really efficient and, you know, making pitches. And I thought he had a great feel for the breaking ball. And so, you know, at 84 pitches, whatever it was, I felt that uh, he deserved to go back out there.
You're uh, not even through your rotation twice yet, and each starter has had a pretty special outing. How important is that? I mean, when you can get key outings from your starters already right now. Yeah, you know what, I, I think that, uh, you know, people talk a lot about the pen and, and, you know, what the Royals did and, you know, shortening the game and all that stuff. But I still, you know, at the core of winning a championship, it's about starting pitching. And um, you've got to pitch and you've got, you've got to lean on those guys and uh, you've got to catch the baseball for them. And so uh, to have those, you know, a, a great outing from each of these guys at some point and, you know, um, it, it's, it's good for them. It's good for us. And uh, again, we're, we're going to lean on those guys. JT's uh, just sore, and uh, I think uh, that's the extent of it. There's some swelling, and, uh, you know, we'll kind of talk about tomorrow, but I think that, uh, you know, at some point in time in the next couple of days, I want to give him a blow anyway. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of have that, we'll have that conversation, but, but he's fine. X-rays for him? Uh, we took some pictures, and they were negative. Yeah, I, I think that that's something that um, I, I don't believe that's drastic. I think that uh, it's something that was, you know, talked about this this winter, and uh, it's something that I won't dip into that well too often. But I think that you know, when with respect to usage, it's it it makes sense. And you've got a guy that's strong, that's fresh, um, you know, that's the best in the bullpen that we have. Uh, so it's not going to be something we'll be, uh, you know commonplace but but we'll, we'll we'll do it the challenge for Alex has been the third time through the order you manage that tonight nice to be able to see him get over that hump it is it is and I think the, the key is that you know he was working ahead and and you know spinning the baseball and and, and sometimes you know um you know he likes his fastball he trusts his fastball but uh, that third time through, he really kind of uh, kept him off balance with the breaking ball, the change, and uh, then setting him up for the for the fastball. So, um, you know, I think that there is something to that. But it's a little cat and mouse. And today, uh, you know, he was he was outstanding. Three hit batters today, three hit batters yesterday. What did you make of that? And what did the umpire out there make of that? Well, I, I think, you know, as far as uh, you know, Brian uh, Gorman, you know. Issuing a warning to both teams, I think that's what he has to do when you see when he hears some jawing back and forth. That's kind of what they have to do. Um, last one was uh, was a breaking ball to uh, JT that hit him on, in a good spot. Uh, the other two, yeah, I mean they they came in and, and hit JT twice. Obviously, one with the fastball. Um, so there's there's uh, they're they're pitching in. They pitch in. When a guy pitches like that, like Alex was hit today, where he was grinding early, and, you know was good at the end of his uh, outing. And Kenley comes through and gets the, those big outs out in the eighth inning. How much, how much does that make you, how good does that make you feel that, he, that he's going to get credit for this, for this win? Yeah, it, it, you know what I think that, you know, those guys, you know, wear the losses, you know, and they, they get the win. So I think that the way he pitched and to get rewarded and, you know, to kind of see how it played out and to see Kenley, you know, be all in and extend himself, um, it, it, was, it was a good night for us. It was a good night, and, you know, got a little bit of momentum, and we have an opportunity to win the series tomorrow.